My name is Rudy Dietrich. I'm responsible for developing all race cars at BMW Motorsport. The job is to, first of all, plan, manage and foresee the programs that are most suitable for the BMW group as such uh, within the context of motorsport. And that includes real racing as well as virtual racing. We figured out that the simulator is going to be a very important uh, resource for us to help the efficiency of the development for uh, new race cars, but as well as, for example, for training drivers. The simulator that you find over there obviously has components which are off the shelf, but as a package as such, it's totally custom made and a lot of it, and the most important part of it, is uh, purpose-built and developed in-house. So the simulator helps a driver to prepare for a race weekend because as the driver then comes to the, to the racetrack, he knows the track, he knows the car, he knows the setup, and he knows the working procedures with his engineers for that upcoming event. You commission a company that is scanning the track, laser scanning the track, and that's very accurate. Uh, the track is, is uh, captured uh, in a grid which is five by five millimeter in horizontal plane and then the resolution of every single bump is 0.1 millimeter so very very accurate and from this raw data then you go away and you build what the driver sees so it's a two-step process one is the actual physical representation of the surface of the racetrack and then the rest is just what the driver needs to be seeing to get his cues where he's located around the track which is building and barriers and all the rest of it and those two compositions then create what's visi visible for the driver as the track and what's the physics which is required to drive the car on bumps and, and curbs and whatnot around the circuit. My name is Maximilian Günther. I am 22 years old and I'm racing for BMW i Andretti Motorsport. The racing simulator, it's basically our best tool to prepare for the, for the race weekend and as well for the development because the uh, amount of testing days, which are very important for us, but they are, they are limited. And that's why we use the, the simulator, which is um, yeah, very close to reality. We can drive here as often as we, as we like. And um, yeah, for sure, for development reasons, it's um, a very important tool. And uh, I'm spending a lot of time here inside this uh, dark room. A big advantage of the simulator is that you always have the same conditions. So if you compare different setup items, software developments, you can always have the same conditions because if you go testing in real life, there is always different temperatures, different uh, maybe tires, different, yeah, not the same condition at the end of the day. And what you have here in the, in the simulator, it's, it's always the same and you can compare things uh, very well. I'm wearing my helmet here in the simulator on the one hand for safety reason because the simulator it's, it's moving and it can uh, yeah, have some very quick movement so yeah, better to have a, a helmet on and uh, the second reason, the main reason really is uh, to have the same vision as in the real car because as you can already see here a bit with the halo and the cockpit around our vision inside the car is quite limited and with the helmet on it's even, even smaller, the, the window where we have a good view and with all the adjustments that we need to do on the steering wheel and um, driving on a street circuit where it is really tight and, and narrow quite often, um, yeah, it just makes sense to have this, um, the helmet as well as a, as a future in the, in the simulator.